here comes the best part, the dance portion. So when I saw the retreat ad on Instagram, I thought, oh, shit, I need to sign up for that. And then about two seconds later, I thought, oh, fuck, he's going to make us dance. And he did. But it was awesome. I, I can't tell you what it is because I really don't fucking know. I wasn't You think I gave a fuck about what they were saying? I was thinking about one thing like, oh, my God, how am I going to do this? I was just like, how am I going to fucking do this? And you're like, why was this so fucking hard? I don't fucking know. I don't know. All I know is that was fucking the hardest thing ever. Oh, my God. Oh, I know why. I was, you just wait. So I felt fantastic after that. Like, like when I graduated ranger school. Like, I graduated ranger school. I was just like... I felt... I felt just the same. I felt, And then I started feeling worse. Like, I was supposed to feel fucking awesome. But I didn't. Oh, man. Plus, I can't ever remember being frozen in absolute terror past the age, like, 13. Like, I think I remember a few times, like, when I was 7... Maybe 9 and 13, something like that. 10, probably 11, 12, 13. Just frozen in absolute terror. Oh, yeah. When I was, when I, oh, God, I was frozen in terror for about, I don't know how long, but Jesus Christ. So here's a little exercise I made up to test whether or not you have what it takes. Like, you think you have a lot of courage? You ready? You ready for the courage test, baby? Let's find out. So step one, take out your cell phone. It's cool. I'll wait. Go ahead. Take it out. So you take out your cell phone. Once your cell phone's out, open Instagram, okay? Go to the search. Type in Whitney Miller. It's spelled just like it sounds. It doesn't even matter. It's going to be the top one. It's going to pop up, right? Of course it's going to pop Now look at her picture, right? All right? Look at her picture. You looking at the fucking picture? I'm like, holy shit. Now, pictures, forget about that, right? Just set that off to the side, all right? Don't worry. That's like level 10. Don't worry. We're just practicing here. So now picture yourself about to walk in a dark room, okay? You're at the headquarters of honor, which, by the way, is really cool. <laughs> You're like, holy shit. Like, wow, this place is fucking awesome. Wow. But, uh, okay, so you're about to go in. Now, picture your confidence meter. It's at 100%, all right? You're confident, 100%. You're ready, baby. Let's go, champ. That's what you're saying. You're saying, let's go, champ. And you're 100% ready. You feel like a boss. You're the man. Say it. I'm the man. Say it. I'm the man, right? That's what the shit you're saying. And you walk into the dark room. But you quickly realize there's nothing dark about this room. Like, it's dimly lit at best. I mean, it's super cool. The neon light added great atmospherics. Super cool. But when you first walk in there, you're like, this isn't fucking dark at all. Everybody can see me. I can see everybody. Like, I can clearly see everyone. Everyone's just walking around. It's like, oh, my God, this is not going to go good. But you're still confident. All right? You're still confident. In fact, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. The non-dark room had zero effect on your confidence meter. Picture it. Your confidence meter, it's 100%. Now picture 25 people in the room. Okay? If you're like, who's in the room? Let me give you a little. We'll do the scale, all right? We'll just do the scale. So I'm at the bottom of the scale. Now, that female that I told you to pick, Whitney Miller, Miss Jits, yeah, yeah, she's the top, all right? Not only is she confirmed the top, not like, oh, it could be, no, no, she's right fucking there. It's like, oh, my God, this is fucking insane, right? It's like, so it doesn't matter, right? So think about that. She's the top, I'm the bottom, fill yourself in. Does it really fucking matter? I mean, really, does it really matter? You're like, but there's 25, oh, does it really fucking matter? Is, it, is there a big difference between a 10 and a 9.9 and a 9.8 and a 9.7 and a 9.6? You're like, oh. <coughs> is there any fucking difference? I mean, really, does it even fucking matter? Are you, right? Because there's 25 people. So let's say you can eliminate 23 of them. Well, there's two of them you're not going to be able to eliminate, and she's one of them. You're not going to be able to eliminate that out of your fucking brain. Are you serious if you're a normal person like me? Because let's think, dudes. It's like, and it's going to last. And so let's talk about what we know, right? Before I get off track. Because even the exercise is stressful as fuck. It's like, here's what we know. The room is not fucking dark, all right? The room's not fucking dark. Fucking Miss Jits is right fucking there. And it's going to last a fucking hour. So your little, woo, that you do to your wife, woo, that ain't going to fucking work. Like, that's what you're going to go with? You fucking, you're done. You're not even going to make it, bro. You're not going to make it. 
That's not what I was coming with. I'm just saying, if you're one of these dudes who's like, oh, that ain't hard. I'm at the bar. And I'm just like, eh, 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 that. <laughs> you're out. So, uh, and by the time you figure this out, you're like, oh, shit, it started and I can't leave. Right? You're like, because it, it took a while for my brain to like catch up. It was just like, usually the thoughts are like right there, but this time it was just like, oh, wait. And I'm like, oh, shit, here we go. And we're laying down, right? So there I am. I'm in shock, laying on the floor, praying. I'm praying to Jesus to kill me. Just fucking do it. Just please. Come on. I'll come back. Whatever. Just later. Let me be dead for an hour. Just one hour, please. One time. I'm just like those dudes on the poker table. I'm just like, one time. One time. I was just inside saying, please kill me. Please kill me. Lightning bolt. Fucking meteor. This is it. We can do it. Come on. <laughs> then I would open my eyes, but oh god, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. And then I'm like, oh my god, because Abby Marcus is doing his thing, right? So keep in time, mind. This is a, I don't know how long this fucking lasts. May I don't know, 25 seconds maybe, 35 seconds maybe, a minute. Maybe he talks for a minute, man. This that means there's 59 more to fucking go. It's like, oh shit. And then you think, oh a minute, that's a long time. But then he starts saying something, and you're just like, what? And then he starts yelling, let's go, tribe, tribe, get up, come on, tribe. And you're just like, yeah. Keep in mind, I got it, I got it. He's talking about like the tribe as a whole, but it's like my fucking last name is tribe. It's like this is not fucking fair. It's like, oh my god. That's fucked up. It's like, that's fucked up. <laughs> so somehow, I don't, well, I know how, but I stood up, right? I found a little bag of courage, and I was just like, oh, I stood up, right? And then I'm standing there, and I'm frozen in fucking terror for like seven seconds. I, it was the strangest feeling. I was just like opening my, oh, God, I'm still alive. Oh, God, I'm still alive. Oh, God, I'm still here. Oh, God, I'm still here. And then I'm frozen, and I'm flexing so fucking hard my hands start to shake and i'm just like oh my god i'm moving oh my god 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 <laughs> oh my god and if you're like like my brain was redlining the fear was so intense it was just like redlining i was like oh my god i can't believe i stood up i was just like oh my god i'm not gonna i was just like oh god and then so on one hand, my brain is redlining, about to fucking explode with fucking terror. I'm frozen in terror. My body won't move because I'm flexing so fucking hard because I want to fucking die. And then on the other hand, I'm thinking, okay, okay, wait, they gave us these tarot cards. And mine was an otter. I'm like, oh my God, a fucking otter. What the fuck does an otter do? I'm like, I've never seen a fucking otter dance. I don't even know how to dance. There's no way a fucking otter knows how to dance. You know what I'm saying? It's like, holy shit. And if you're like a professional dancer, fuck you, right? I'm a regular dude who went all in, right? I went all in on being a badass. I went all in. I got 100% out of my body, and then I got fucked. I fucked it all up, but whatever. But my version of badass never included, like, dancing. But there I was. I was like, oh, shit. And then luckily, something happened where it triggered some words in my brain. And so it was. it made my brain... It was like my brain was racing, trying to find the play, the spot, the timing in my life where I was the most free and happy. Because I feel I was like, oh, shit, if I can get back there, I might be able to move. Because I was like, I thought I was going to have a fucking heart attack, dudes. I was just like, oh, my God, this is the this was the worst moment of my fucking life. And so, boom, next second, I'm transported back to Iraq. I'm 26, and then I'm dance revolution in that motherfucker, right? I'm just like, yeah! It felt fucking fantastic, right? If I could describe it in one word, it would be bliss, right? My bliss meter was just like, Bush! it was like a sprinkler of bliss. I was just like, yeah! It was amazing. I mean, it was the longest and most self-love I've ever felt, right? Uh, because it's supposed to last an hour, right? So as soon as I hear the cue, we're starting to lay down. I'm thinking, oh, shit, the hour's up. This thought appeared, and I realized I'm the happiest I've ever fucking been. I'm not, I'm not coming down, right? I'm not coming down. I'm fucking, whoop, I'm fucking out. It's time to 